Hello everybody, I'm Rude Devil. Welcome back to more Let's Play the Battle for Middle Earth 1. In the last episode, we uh, took one sector of Rohan, and we also defended against a goblin invasion of Lothlorien. I'm not here to judge, even though that's pretty much all I ever did. And uh, in this episode, we're going to be clearing out more of uh, Rohan, and hopefully, with this little shiny beacon here, hopefully we get to go to Amon Hen. And uh, hopefully, and I will try my best to keep Boromir alive, because he is my favorite character. Okay, um, we have three power points, but I'll spend them later. We've got East Mnet, plus 20 command, and West Mnet. I'm pretty sure I'll have to do all of these, um, but I want—I kind of want to do, I want to get to Fangorn, because that gives me plus two power. So we're going to head to West Mnet, and, uh, we've got our army of 35 peasants. Uh, hold on, quick, and, quick, and, what, no, okay, I guess this is my only option. I don't get to choose. All right, I thought democracy was a thing in Middle Earth. Anyway, yeah, we've got our army of 35 peasants, and we're in Rohan. This will give us more command points so we can make more stuff. Let's just go. Destroy all Isengard forces. <laughs> Look at our humongous peasant <laughs> army we've got. I love this. I actually love this. All right, here's our low-res base again. All right, let's make more stables. We're gonna make ourselves a farm and we're out of money, fuck. So it's actually, all we have to do is just destroy everyone in this region, but I'm pretty sure it'll be worth it if we just let our peasants die. So that we can uh, save up our command points to actually get decent right here. We have three power points and, mm, I guess we could upgrade Ganoff, but I've, mm, Elven Word. Ah, I won't be able to get the Elven allies unless I get Elven Word. All right, I'll get Elven Wood, but I need one more power point. Keep these lands safe. I don't know how big this area is, but uh, what we do? oh, here we go. If we should actually, if we just strike their base already, I think we should be okay. I think I could probably end it now if we go for the Uruk Pit. I mean, my cavalry do plus 100% damage. Oh god, hold on. Take out the Uruk Pit quickly. And that's right, hold on, didn't I rename my units? I got Ronald Reagan and Sigourney Weaver with me, how did I forget? The best name, that is a lot of uruk -hai. Shit, we've been ambushed! Ambushed! Go, Rohirrim! And actually, because he's focusing on my peasants, which I actually wanted him to do, we can just trample all of his crossbowmen, but we seem to be a little stuck right now. Trampolum! I told you, feeling. Don't know why I'm speaking Elvish right now, but that's not the point. And holy. Oh god, they got pikes. They got pikes. Get away, get away. No, no, no. Not even I will dare cross pikes. And I'm pretty sure Ronald Reagan is dead. Yep, Ronald. Wait, was it Ronald Reagan or. Yep, no, Sigourney Weaver's dead! No, and his base still lives. No. Actually, this makes it more interesting the way she have a setback now. Alright, let's head back to base. And a thousand for Rohira marches, holy god. Alright, we've almost got a thousand actually. I'm gonna have to. We all must fight. Never mind, we have peasants. We're gonna head back to base. So I tried to uh, blitz them pretty much, and it didn't work out that well, but. I'm not that sad to be honest. It's actually kind of cool to have a setback. We didn't want everything to go our own way, let's be honest. Let's see, his base was where? His base was here, and he's built another Uruk pit. Let's just finish off these battalions. Alright, we can finally get Rohirrim archers. And the only reason why I'm making these, and I have to make sure they stay alive, because they cost me a grand, is uh, because he's got pikes, and I don't want to peasants against pikes, because that will probably take too long. No, I can't lose Ronald Reagan too! Ah, shit. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. But no, I actually really like this, because it's... I mean, Rohan did have to fight a war against Isengard, and they were probably up against it a lot of the time. So no, it is kind of cool that we actually have to do this and fight these individual battles. Aim is probably try, uh, trying his hardest to, you know, stop his country from falling. Prepare for battle! We ride! Alright, you guys cost me a grand. Let's see if you're worth it. I'm just gonna run around because they're only chasing my guys. 
Regroup at the camp. Ah shit, they're pushing again. I don't want my Rahirim to loot a single unit. Bikes are down, yes, thank god. This is why resources are useful, because it'll let you build things, and I can't build shit! Rohan peasants. I'm not going to waste my money on Rohan peasants. I think I'm just going to scour the lands and just recruit everyone I see. Not you peasants, you stay here. There you go. This is almost like we're fighting a guerrilla war, just like hit and run tactics, because, I mean, they have the vast majority of the land. And... I don't know about you, I mean, just yeah. judging from the feedback from the first episode, you guys Away. all seem to love it, and I'm fucking enjoying this, this is really fun. We are a strong I'm just gonna, even though we've only got one farm, I'm just gonna quickly save up and get another battalion, and then I'll buy more farms. Are we being chased by something? Oh, laborers. Like we're fighting Mac Pollitt's army here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, him and laborers, I still don't understand Therefore, where that came from. <laughs> Uh, that is a battalion of Urukai guarding their camp. And... dead. And the really good thing about Aoma, I mean, I told you this in the last episode, we actually get resources per unit we kill. So, we don't actually need to keep building farms, we just need to make sure we keep killing units. Wretched creatures! Wretched creatures! So yeah, after this, alright, let's build up. How much is a farm here? It's 250, isn't it? Uh, we're close to getting right here, so I'll just wait a tiny bit more. But now, while I'm doing this, actually, hold on, why don't I just do this? Why don't you guys decide what I name my units? Like, I won't name any of my Rahirim after this level, but you guys can decide the name of it. And, yeah, so let's just choose anything, because I've got... Like, I'll have loads of Rahirim by the end of this game to name. So, yeah, just keep giving me suggestions, and I'll just pick the best ones. And, uh, don't say anything stupid like poop nose or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, like, like, like a proper suggestion that people would find really funny. Uh, I think that'd be a, a really fun way of doing it. Brother King! Why the hell isn't it the proper voice actor? He was so cool. And I love how good I am at trampling. Oh god, I don't want my, my archers to get caught out. Rohirrim! I think I'm just gonna wait for this uh, battalion to reclaim full strength and then attack. Hey, speaking of full strength, we got another battalion of uh, Rohirrim. And I love the picture, it's like, yeah! Kick some fucking ass! Alright, oh god, there's orcs on the. No, there's the, the Eye of Sauron. Peasants, this is what I bought you for. Defend our lands. And how the hell is Aoma only level 3? We've slaughtered, I don't know how many battalions of Uruks now. Alright, they came from the north. There's a farm up there I can capture. Let's go up here. This battalion is taking its sweet damn time. Oh, there is a lumber mill here, so that's what they are able to build in the build plots. Well, we're going to destroy that. Get some resources, and then plant our own damn farm, because that is how you win a war. Thank you very much. Slaughter everyone. And we now have a farm. Holy shit. Follow my lead! I guess I could cheat and just, well, not really cheat, but just kind of do the tactic I do in War of the Ring, where I am on the eve of victory, so I just build up all my command points and things like that, and then just build all my build all my forces so that for the next game I'm really in a good position. This actually reminds me of uh, Mac and I played War of the Ring. It took us about. Oh, we kept saving it. We kept going back to it. It took us about four hours. It was the... This was from Rise of the Witch King. It's a uh, Fall of Arnor scenario in War of the Ring, where you obviously play as Arnor, you have Fornost, and then you're up against Angmar. But Angmar has more heroes than you to begin with, so they're allowed to take more areas and 
like, attack. They're, they're allowed to attack more regions, basically, because they have more heroes, and it makes it really difficult. And I was, we did it on Brutal as well, and I was so willing to give up. Like, I was just really like, come on, Mac, let's throw in the towel. He's like, no, no, no. And he was actually annoying me that he wouldn't want to give up. And I'm like, come on, we're not going to win. So basically, we dug in at Fornost, and we just left them with, like, a barracks or something, and we just built all of our armies up, all of them. So we had, like, like 20 battalions each. And then, yeah, we were from there, we were able to just push out. And then three hours later, the final battle, I think, was at Halinden, because we had taken Khandoom ages ago. And they had, like, fled to the west somehow. And we finally managed to win. But it was a really fun game, and my only regret is that I wasn't recording it. Or at least streaming it, because uh, those War of the Ring games are really long, so they're actually more ideal for streaming. But it was just so much fun. And I actually prefer, I actually prefer the setting where... Um, you, you win by completely routing the enemy. You don't uh, just capture their capital. I'm pretty sure he's going to go attack my farms. There's some peasants up there. We must, defend our country. must defend our country. Actually, what's good about Ro Rohan is that because I have cavalry, we can dart across the battlefield really quickly and protect our farms. Or if I was from Boston, fans. Protect our fans. I don't know if anyone's from Boston here, and I'm sorry if that was terrible, but hey, it just popped into my head. And I can't believe we lost all 35 of my peasants right off the bat, that's so funny. Even with the, the draft ability, they're weak as anything, it's really funny. We have the new farm! I thought that was something significant. Like, we've got the forge blades, like, no, no, just, just a new farm. We must defend our country! These crazy hillbillies of Rohan. Watch this, watch this. This is like a MOBA style play. Watch this gank. Oh, oh, get your ass whopped. <laughs> wombo combo. Actually, if I had done that from both sides, that would have been a wombo combo. That would have been so much fun. Alright, there is a build pull down here. I wonder if he's replenished his lumber mill. He has. Time to trample. He's making units hella quick. I don't know how he's doing that. I'm just more than happy to destroy them. I think I'm just going to make one more uh, Rohan, uh, Rohirrim archer or whatever. Just uh, in case he has more pikes. We ride! We ride! We, ride. we get it, Hammer! You're on our fucking horse, so shut up! So yeah, I'm actually, uh, alongside this, I'm going to set up my Xbox and get back to uh, Halo Wars, just because I really feel like playing that game. And also, I owed it to that one guy who asked very politely a shit ton to, for me to play it. Um, and I'm probably going to start at like episode 3, because I did do the first two episodes. And uh, looking back, my like commentary style definitely has changed, but I'm, I, they're already uploaded on my channel, so I'm just going to start episode 3. And I don't know how many of you guys like Halo Wars, but I think you guys should still watch it, because it is an RTS and it is still really fun. Plus, uh, I know, like, some wicked shortcuts in that campaign, because I actually played it quite a bit when I was bored, so... It was just an easy, you know, fun campaign you can play. And heal does fucking nothing. Oh, hold on. It's because I haven't been activating it this whole time. Left click, right click has got me again. There we go. I was wondering... Damn it! Oh, why did they do that? Alright. Now let's get Elven Word. So that we can then get that, 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 that. We're gonna hopefully get all of them. I doubt it, but... One can dream. Oh god! Okay, that wasn't a hero, it's just the Eye of Sauron. Thank god. I thought it was actually someone of note. Keep a watchful eye! Go with haste! Alright, let's get two more Rahiram out here. We got our just ragtag peasants just doing whatever. Now is the hour. Two more Rahiram, and then I think we'll be strong enough to uh, eliminate the enemy. And you can send regular Urukai out as much as you want, but until you send Pikes, you're really not going to trouble me, sir. And let's zoom in for theirs. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, shit, we're already at full strength. Hold on. Let's cancel this and get the horse shield upgrade. So hold on, plus 80% armor. Okay, all right. That should really help against pikes in case we actually do get in a confrontation with them. What else can we build? Actually, out of curiosity, we got the armory. Ah, you know what? If 
I could cheat and just, like, save up the entire time for an armory. Get everything so that this group over here never fucking die. But I can't be bothered. I'll do that in the next episode. Or maybe I should just play legit, who knows. Oh, here I am. 400 each? Ah, fuck. Keep these lands safe. I am far too apprehensive. Not apprehensive. What's the opposite of apprehensive? Retarded? No, reckless. Okay. Far too reckless. We're doing it. We're doing it. Full on assault. Man, you can you can use industry all you like, but you've only got one Urk. But for here, I'm archers. You do with the infantry. I wonder here I'm archers. There are only one battalion of Uruks. Ah oh, damn it, his things are actually attacking me back. His uh slaughterhouses. Not slaughterhouses, furnaces, whatever they're called. Yep, you can build another Uruk pit if you want, but your citadel is going down, son. Alright, I think this is another victory for Rohan under the leadership of Rude Devil. Oh yeah. All right, attack order. Go have fun. Go run. Go run wild. No, I want to select all of them. There we go. Shield upgrade. That should be all of them. And here come the peasants. There's Fred. There's Mercury. There's Liam. And there's Nisa. And there's uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. Yep, they're all here. More Urx. I wonder if I they fully got a lumber mill somewhere, but eh. Pretty sure if I wipe out that base, they're done. And they're all dead, holy god. Is that it? Is that victory? Did we clear out another region of Rohan? Yes! Alright! Rohan will not fall into enemy hands while I still draw breath. We didn't even need the dwarves. Victory! Alright, so as I said, I'm not actually going to name any of these guys. We still have Ronald Reagan! Ronald Reagan lived! Yes! Alright, so we've got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 battalions to name. Forget the peasants, I'll just die. So yeah, if you have funny names or what I should name them, uh, then yeah, go ahead and comment, and in the next episode I will all name them, and it will be glorious. Uh -oh. The guard desires the One Ring. A fierce attack has been plotted to destroy the Fellowship and take back Sauron's prize. Damn it, Saruman! Your treachery knows no bounds. Just get ready for the banana. Dun dun dun. Here we go. By my life or death, I will protect you, Frodo. We must be ready. Oh, oh shit! That cutscene was super cool, but protecting protecting hobbits—that is not my strong suit, as demonstrated in Lothlorien. I do not fear death. Back you devils! Yeah, back you devils! Oh, that's what he says at um at a weather top. He just uh grown men grown men cower in front of a Nazgul, not Sam. He just goes back you devils, and then just gets thrown away. Who's the light of Arendel? We must protect Frodo! I'm so glad you said Frodo, not Dodo. So yeah, Gandalf is still here at the Battle of Amonhan, and I'm glad he is. Because, uh, actually, is it possible that you, like, if you lose to the Balrog, does the lip, like, is it still mission failed? Or is it just like, yeah, he's dead now? If it's like, yeah, he's he can actually die there, then that's really cool that they actually put that in. They actually went to those deaths. Like, even if you lose, it, 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 it will still continue. It'll be really cool. I'm pretty sure it is because you can let Boromir. Like people have been saying, you can let Boromir die on this level. 
don't know why you would, he's awesome. <laughs> Got tired of counting? Just jump on their head, why not? I know what I'm saying. Need our assistance. I wonder what the thinking was behind Legolas' Arrowwind ability. He's like, okay, he's clearly a god. I mean, he uses an Urk shield as a skateboard and then impales someone with it. Let's give him an ability where he just fires a thousand arrows without, you know, having to draw again. That is a troll. I'll bet you trade. No, don't let the hobbits die, you... Ah, shit. Sorry, I had to waste a heal because I'm pretty sure. Hold on, I'm always bad at checking my objectives. Frodo and Sam must survive. Yeah, okay. So actually, it wasn't really a waste of a heal because, yeah, I needed them to live. Hi, fighter! This one's about to fall. This is a lot of herbs. Actually, in the film, when, uh,. Uh, Legolas goes, the Horn of Gondor, and you hear the Horn of Gondor go, burr, burr, burr. that's the sound effects. And you see all those Uruks running down the hill, like my first thought was like, holy shit, all of that is heading towards Boromir. How, wow, how is he ever going to stand up to all that? Uh, it was, uh, that's still like my favorite, the departure of Boromir is without a doubt my favorite scene in the whole film. It's the best. It is the best. Where do we have to go now? I think we won. My skill with the fellowship is un is limitless. I yeah, I will never lose at the fellowship. Where am I supposed to go? Kill the Urks attacking Legolas and Thingamabob. Oh god! Oh shit! Orcs weren't there. I'm gonna call hacks. Emily, you'll leap back. It is. Thank you. Thank you, cooldowns. And I've never seen Gimli jump aside from the film, but I'm pretty sure he can't leap that high. And even if he could, yeah, you wouldn't need Minas Tirith. He would just be there defending. Run, Hobbits, run! Run, Hobbits, run! No, Boromir, don't die! Look at it, it's a Sean Bain! Sean Bain! Sean Bain! Go, 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 go! I love you, Sean Bain! Stab up, stab him, blow your horn! And stab! Awesome. Barman, we're coming! No, lads! Fuck! Elven wood, that'll save us. Shit! Barmet, no heal! Fight! Fight to the last man! Fuck, this is so awesome! We got the whole fellowship here fighting side by side. And yeah, Barmet is gonna die big time unless I do something. Come on, please come back, Lightning Sword. No, I don't... Legolas, no! Come on, Lightning Sword, I'm relying on you. Not Lightning Sword, Wizard Blast, will you just come back a little bit faster? Oh, man. I, I didn't talk much there because that was really panicky. I don't want... I don't want him to die. You don't know how much I don't want him to die. These two will fly like brothers. Go! Make them fly like brothers! And especially left click, right click again, isn't it? Come finish it! Yes! That's the way it should have gone. Oh, man. I've really... If, if, if Bormir lives but Legolas dies, that'd be hilarious. Like, Orlando Bloom, you're cool, but now. We must fight with courage! We must stay together. Okay, what's my objective now? Uh, secure the boat so Frodo and Sam can escape. Alright, let's go to the boat. I've got all my powers back, so we sh it should be pretty easily now. Should do this pretty easily. 
This is my favorite level so far. Holy God. This is so much fun. Just, you've got the fellowship. All these. Holy God! There's a berserk! Fight! Fight! This is the best fucking game ever! This is so brilliant! All those berserkers charged and we just decimated them like they were nothing! That's what I was waiting for. I call that the Booyah. Shit, cave trolls, let's pull back, pull back. Let them come into our killing zone. Yeah, enough, you fought a battle, you're not gonna lose now. Well, this Berserker. Where's Gimli? There he is. Damn it, I keep missing the thing. Go! We're losing too much damage. We're taking too much damage, rather. Go, Gimli, finish it! Front line attack! There you go. Alright, Cave Trolls, time to pull back. Men of the West. Focus all your firepower on those superstar destroyer cave troll things. And that was a waste of a horn of Gonda. Why was that on auto? Damn it. I could have used that for the rest of his army. We still have a heal, so we're still good. Hobbits, what the fuck are you guys doing? Get back. Hide behind Boromir. He's a tank. He's a wall. He's not going to drop anytime soon. Get shot with an arrow. Fuck! Alright, we've got... A uh, cave troll. I am over here. Actually, I think I might be able to be a little devious here. I will not take long. <laughs> <laughs> that was one powerful strike. I, will not I can just long. finish them all you off with Legolas from here. That is hilarious. I will not take long. Really? They're not going to attack? Well, this is nice. We're just going to let Legolas get all the kills and level up. All right, I'm I'm pretty sure these guys won't die if I tell them to charge. Right? They're only berserkers. Attack! Anyway, the one who I wanted to live is already safe. So. Yeah, yeah. What was I? What was I even afraid of? Look at us cut them down to size. Oh, I did it. All those Uruks were destroying the boats. You think one of them would have thought, hey, why don't we just destroy the boat? <laughs> Excellent. We have secured the boat. This victory will long be remembered. Boromir lived. I'm so happy. That was that was by far the best level we've done so far. That was awesome. That is a level I will go back to again and again and again. Oh, that was such a good level. I love that level. I I, lo I just basically I love playing with the fellowship. I love having all of them, all their powers ready. I mean, you're just such a powerhouse. Yet you're still slightly vulnerable if they tank one unit, so you have to cover it, and that's and that makes it challenging. And we have a total victory because we complete all the bonus objectives. But I love just the full power of the of the fellowship. We got Gimli, Leap, Aragorn, Blade Master, Horn of Gondor, Bloody Lightning Sword. I love it all that we can just depend on all these awesome powers. I love it all. It's Yes, it's brilliant. It's so good, so good. So we've saved Sam and Frodo. Boromir didn't die. Searches for the hobbits. The flames of battle continue to engulf Rohan. All right, so we've got Merry and Pippin being taken away by the Urks here. The three hunters are in pursuit, but Gandalf and Boromir are with us, so it's actually the five hunters. And then we've got uh, Frodo and Sam making their way to Mordor. All right, on the next episode, we're going to be hopefully uh, reclaiming Merry and Pippin, and then also. Clearing out more regions of Rohan. We still have quite a bit to go. And we'll make our way to Fangorn slowly but surely. And then to Helm's Deep and Isengard. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more videos. I'm Rude Devil. I'll see you next time.
Goodbye.